Hey friends, what's up? Okay, today we are going over another sixth grade standard, moving percentages to decimals and decimals to percentages. Let's go. Okay, so if I have a percent and I wanna change that to a decimal, all I have to do is start at the percent and jump two times to the left, add your decimal and you no longer need that percent. But if you wanna go the other way where you have your decimal and you wanna turn it into a percent, you go ahead and jump two spaces to the back where the percentage goes, add your percent, and you no longer need your decimal. So percent, you jump two spaces to the front where your decimal goes, change decimal to percent, you jump two spaces to the back where the percent goes. Let me show you with some numbers. So if I have something that is 25%, and I wanna make that a decimal, all I have to do is jump one, two spaces to the front, and now my decimal is 0.25. Five. But what if I have a number like 3%? Well, I would still start at the percent, jump one, jump two, add your decimal, but I don't have a number right here, so I need to add a zero, meaning our decimal is going to be 0 0.03. Let's try another one. Say I have a bigger number, where I have 243%. And I want to make that a decimal. I start at the percent, I jump one, I jump two. That's where my decimal goes. So my new decimal will be 2.43. That'll be my decimal. Now, if I have a percent that is smaller than 1%, say I have 0.03%, we can still do that. I follow the same rules, but instead of starting at the percent this time, I have a decimal to work with. So I'm going to jump one, jump two to the left. My new decimal will be there. Now I have no spaces there, so I need to add zeros. I did two jumps, so I need to add two zeros. So my decimal will be 0 0.0003. What if I have 0.16%? Well, in that case, I start at my decimal because I already have one. I jump one, two spaces to the left. I don't have numbers there, so I need to add zeros and take away my old decimal. So my new decimal will be 0 0.0016. Now, let's go the reverse. Let's say I have 0.76 and I want to change that to a percent. So I'm gonna start at my decimal and percents are in the back, so that's where I'm going. So I jump one, I jump two, add my percent, get rid of my decimal, so I have 76%. Let's say I have 0.36. I wanna change that to a percent, percents are at the back, so I'm gonna to jump towards the back, one, two, add my percent, get rid of my decimal. So I'm going to have 36%. Now, what if I have a bigger number? Let's say I have 2.14, but I want to make that a percent. I start with the decimal and I go back towards the percentage area where I go one, two, that is now a percent and I have 214%. And yes, even though it is greater than 100, you can definitely have percentages that are greater than 100. That will be a whole other lesson. So let's do another one that is big. Let's say I have 54.3. That is okay, I'm gonna go ahead. I wanna make a percent, so I'm jumping towards the end where the percent goes. I am jumping one, I'm jumping two, add my percent, but I don't have a number here, so I need to add a zero. That means that is 5,430%. And that's it for today. Thank you guys for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.